So I've loaded up Logic and it's asking me straight away what um, track I want to install. So I'm going to install a software track, doesn't matter what it is at the moment. And before I do anything else, as always, I'm going to go to File, I'm going to go to Save As, and I'm going to go and find the location that I want to save this file in, my folder that I'm going to save it in. Here it is, Vocal Samples as I've called it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tick all of these boxes here. That makes sure that anything I save within the file ends up in the folder at the end. That's really important. That's something you might want to evidence if you're doing this for any kind of coursework. And I'm going to give it a name that's relevant. Vocal Sample Sampler Test. And I'm going to click Save. As always, always save a project right at the start. Now, I've loaded up my blank audio instrument. I'm going to go down to where the instrument actually is. It's under the MIDI and the audio effects. And I'm going to change the instrument, not the, uh, the patch. I'm actually going to change the instrument completely to an EXS24 sampler. Mono will be fine. There it is. And you'll need to click on Edit. And it will bring up this window. And in this window, we want to click on Zone. And we want to create a new zone. There's my zone. At the moment, the zone is over the entire keyboard. And I've got this button here clicked called Pitch, which will change the pitch. This will all make sense in a moment. I'm going to click on this little down arrow here in my first zone. And I'm going to load in my audio sample. Here's a sample I've uh, created earlier. And I'm going to load that in. And now, when I press the keys, Hello. Hello. now it sounds really, really Hello. low down. Now that's because if we can see here, I've actually assigned the original sample to the key of C3. Hello. Hello. And there you go. Hello. Every time I press the key, Hello. Hello. I can hear Adele in all her glory. Hello, 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 You get the idea. If I untick the pitch box, hello, 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 hello. You can see the hello doesn't change. What I can also change is the range. So you know, like on your on a, a drum kit, you have the kick drum on one and a snare drum on another. That's how they achieve that. So if I just want this sample on C1, double click C1, and I want the range to go from. C1 to C1. There you go. That's the only button now, the only key that will make, that will play the sample. Hello. All the rest won't do anything. Now, if I want to add in another sample, I'm going to create a new zone. Load in another sample. I don't have any other samples at the moment, so I'm going to load in uh, Adele again. As you can see, the other one, the previous one, was blocked out because it was already in there. It knew that. So I've loaded up the uh, the AIF version. And this time, I'm going to, at the moment you'll see it's, it's going across the entire lot. I'm going to assign this one to C2. And I'm going to go from C2 to C3. So my original sample... <laughs> Hello. Hello's there, and then the new sample, which happens to be the same thing, is there. Hello. And I've still got the pitch set for this one. Hello. 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 And that is how you install a sample into a sampler. 
Now, when I click to close this, it will ask me, do I want to save this? And I'm going to say, yes, I do want to save it. And I'm going to make sure that I don't save it in the regular sample instrument folder, because then if I save my file and send it to someone, the sample won't appear. So I'm going to go to the desktop, find the folder that I've got this one in, and I'm going to give it a name, and I'm going to call it Adele Sample Zones. And I'm going to save that. And that's the first thing I need to save. Now I also need to save the patch. So I'm going to go to here and I'm going to click Save As. And I'm also going to make sure this doesn't go into the regular EXS24. I'm going to put it in the same folder as everything else. Because I say I want to be able to transfer this entire file if I need to. And again, I'm going to call this Adele Sampler Patch. Click Save. And I can turn it off. Now I've got my samples in there. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I'm going to press record. Hello, 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 hello. And so on. You get the idea. You should know um, how to do the programming. And there you go. That's how to. Uh, hello, hello. Use the hello, sampler. Hello, hello. Hello. That's how to use the sampler in Logic. Zombie Apocalypse.